You would not believe the speed in which I just got ready, but you guys, I am late. We'll chat with you in the car. Welcome back to the vlog, my friends. I, I thought I was so prepared this morning. I was so ready. Doing a little workout montage, I had my shower, blow drying my hair. I gave myself an hour and a half to get ready. And then by the time, like I air wrapped my hair this morning and it just, I just ran out of time. I looked at the time and I was like, oh, my word, slapped on a half as quick face of makeup so fast you wouldn't believe got dressed and now i'm headed downtown heading to an event today on this beautiful beautiful sun look at this sunshine on this stunning fall day it's been a very rainy week here in bc uh yeah the rain season has hit us so this beautiful day of sunshine is uh, stunning to behold. So even though I was running so late, I wanted to check in, say hi, welcome to the vlog, and I'll see you downtown when we head to the event and I'll fill you in when we get there. All right, made it, just parked. Uh, the event I'm headed to is at Park, Vancouver, which is where the Douglas Hotel and the JW Marriott is, my personal fave hotel in Vancouver, in case anyone cares if you come visit. And the event is actually a Florence by Mills event, AKA Millie Bobby Brown's makeup collection. So I'm just gonna do parking here. They provided parking, which was so nice. Not everybody does that. And for us, uh, us peeps who live out of downtown, it's always uh, nice that they include that. So anyway, I'm gonna park and then let's head up to the event. Actually, no, I'm gonna show you my outfit first when we get upstairs, but anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna park. <laughs> okay, coast is clear in the bathroom for a hot sec. Hopefully you guys can see my outfit. This is the blazer that I got tailored, that I got the shoulders fixed on, got my little bodysuit, these fun little stretchy flared pants, and my toe tan boots. That's my outfit. I'm going to head up to the event. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dark, it's so dark in this garage, but I just left the event. We left with a little bag of goodies. And I was actually really excited because Maddox, hi Maddox, oh my God, if you're watching, I miss you. He actually used to work for Benefit and then he's been working for the agency One Milk, Two Sugars, who just put on this event. They've also put on, like if you guys remember when we went to Whistler with Elf and then the Alicia Keys event, like they just do so many fun events and they're an amazing agency from Toronto. So such a great team and they, obviously they have Maddox now. And yeah, I've known Maddox forever. Like he's part of the OG Benefit fam. So it was so good to see him. I actually didn't know he was gonna be here. I'm so excited, so we were just chatting and catching up and then I saw Katie aka Lola Liner who I literally have not seen for years so it was just nice we were having a chat and basically they were here doing the Florence by Mills event because they are now going to be sold at London Drugs for anyone who lives in Western Canada you know what London Drugs is it's just it's one of our drugstores and it's cool because I think they're doing like a big push with Florence by Mills and I think she's going to be expanding the products to uh perhaps more mature audiences so I'm excited to see what comes and um I'll have to play with some of these goodies that we got so thanks so much to them for hosting a fabulous little afternoon and now I actually need to well you know what I think I'm gonna be driving in rush hour home which is not the best but I have a couple more stops to make before I head home so I'm gonna put you down and um, let's head out I've made a quick pit stop at it's indigo, but it's forever chapters in my brain. I actually have a gift card from Lara, my future, my future sister-in-law, Dan's little sister. She gave me a gift card for my birthday and I've been meaning to use it. And I actually took all of your guys' recommendations from my last video. And I have a little list of books that I wanna check out and just do a general creep, see what's new in the zoo. So I diverted from all of my plans at Indigo. I saw Pachinko in a historical fiction section and I just love that book so much. I love reading a book that's like a really great story but that I'm learning something at the same time. So I just went uh, balls to the walls in the historical fiction section. I'll show you the books that I picked up when I get home. I have one more stop and then 
and then we'll head out. Uh, so my final stop of the day was picking up me and Dan's tennis rackets, which we have lovingly got restrung. And apparently we're supposed to be doing that way more often than we've been doing it, which has been uh, never. We bought our rackets over three years ago, and this is the first time we've got them restrung. Apparently you're supposed to do it a lot more, so oopsie. But we, I'm very excited. We are actually starting tennis lessons, Dan and I, very soon, and we wanted to treat our rackets to a little love for the occasion so we're very excited and I can't wait to learn all the all the tricks of the racket so that was our downtown adventure lovely little event picking up some books and also picking up our restrung rackets now it's time to go embark on the long drive home see you when we get there okay so listen I'm on my drive home Zelda is driving okay <laughs> We're in some big, big traffic right now, but I just finished listening to the Second Life podcast with Aaron Walsh, aka celebrity fashion stylist. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Anne Hathaway has been having just like a rebirth in her look and her clothing, her outfits, everything. She's just been like absolutely serving us look after look after look. She looks incredible. I'm obsessed with everything. So from Anne Hathaway's looks, I actually started following Erin Walsh and she had posted, I can't remember if it was, I feel like it was a Valentino blazer. I don't know. She just had this incredible like black and white blazer look and I was like, my jaw was on the floor. Like Anne Hathaway's just killing it. Aaron Walsh is killing it. I'm obsessed with all of it. Anyway, so I'm listening to the Second Life podcast. I just finished it. It was a nice quick one. Fun fact, I listen to these podcasts on 1.2 speed. I feel like it just erases any in-between pausing. I don't know if that's a useful tip for anyone, but it was so good. There were so many takeaways from this podcast. I actually, I literally feel like my heart is lifted. Like I feel so inspired clothing wise after listening to that and I'm just gonna go pour and stalk Aaron Walsh go into a deep dive when I get home but you know one of those podcasts where you listen to it and you just feel so inspired after so I just wanted to say if anyone cares to listen to the Second Life podcast it's so good there's just always a takeaway from them I always feel like I can apply something to my my life after I listen to one of those and it was so good and she was just talking about how she's intrigued by like the art of becoming something else through fashion and how clothing can make you feel it can be transformative it can be expressive blah blah like she was just clearly so passionate about clothing and I'm literally just I'm obsessed I'm obsessed it was really good and I just thought I'd let you know while I'm here driving listening to it in real time so guys I'm gonna go back to driving toodaloo ah, it's pitch black outside I'm not used to this winter darkness would allow me to show you what I got let's start with the little goodie bag so the Florence by Mills bag Nice little makeup removing little wipes here, little pads, what do you call them? Reusable cotton rounds, cutie little bag. Okay, I saw this, this was sitting on the, the table next to the donuts. This is the Pout Party Coffee Lip Scrub. Ugh, will it show this cute little coffee mug here? So cute. Meryl! So here's the little lip scrub, V cute. Oh, and it smells like coffee. Hit Snooze Lip Mask. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna take that right upstairs. I love the little packaging. It's honestly very cute. Oh my God, it smells delicious. It smells like Jello. Look at that. It smells and looks like Jello. What's this texture? Oh, it's literally, how do you even? Oh my God, it's literally Jello. Oh, that smells so good though. Good enough to eat. Swimming Under the Eyes Gel Pads. Need this in my life. <laughs> under Eye Patches that are whales. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> They're whales. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> and we've got a clarifying face wash and up in the clouds facial moisturizer. Florence by Mills, one milk, two sugars. Thank you so much. What a lovely pile of skincare goodies. So allow me to next show you my book haul. You might, I'll just sit for this moment. Oh, there we go. So like I said, my original plans were derailed. First of all, I want to thank you all because so many of you left so many amazing <laughs> book recommendations on that last vlog. And I want you to know that I have screenshotted a million of them, okay? I need to write a list and thank you again for sharing literally all of your favorites. Those are all the screenshots from that, of the book recs. However, um, <laughs> oh, you guys, this is gonna sound really lazy of me, but I was literally carrying my vlog camera. I had my purse, my phone, what have you. So I pulled up the screenshots. I was gonna go, you know, like, 
I don't know if this is all bookstores, but they have a little computer and you can type in the book title or the author on the computer and then it tells you like what aisle to go to. And I went up to the <laughs> computer and it just had a paper on it and it was like looking for something, find it on indigo.ca. And I was like, I know it's literally the same, like, like technically the time taken to type it on this computer or on my phone is the same, but I just was like, you want me to go through, then I have to like sign in, select my location, blah, 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 fine. No, no, just turn, why are you turning the computer off? Just let me, what if I didn't bring my phone that day? What if I didn't have my phone with me? And I was trying to look for a book and you have turned the computers off. Anyway, I thought that was so rude. So right there, I, I was like, well, this is annoying. So I turned away from the little desk and then I saw this historical fiction section and I was like, well, this looks fun. Saw that Pachinko was there, which I recently, recently, was it this year? I've read it, I loved it, and I thought, wow, I would love books like that where it's telling this beautiful story, but at the same time, you're getting a glimpse into it, like a true piece of history, like I'm learning something, perhaps experiencing a new area, like it just, that really tickled my fancy. So then I just spent like half an hour looking at all of those historical fiction books, and here's what I bought. So dear Lara, I love you deeply, and thank you so much for that incredible uh, birthday gift that I have finally <laughs> finally used. So I got Children of the Catastrophe. I'm not gonna read all the backs of these. If you guys are interested, I'll, I'll link them in the description box, but these are the ones that caught my eye. So Children of the Catastrophe, The Paris Wife, Empire of Pain. Oh, you know what? This one was actually just from the Heather's Pick section. Sorry, this was the one that was not in the historical fiction. I picked this one up right on the way in. Uh, yeah, Empire of Pain, The Secret History of the Sackler Dynasty. And it had a sale sticker. Oh, Meryl is pooping in her litter box. Thank you for that timing, Meryl. Uh, so I also got The Distant Shores. Sounded very exciting. And then finally, Tuscan Daughter. I just was like, listen, if this gives me any glimpse into like ancient Tuscany, sign me up. What was this? Oh yeah, set in Florence, 1500s. Ugh. Florence is one of my favorite cities that I've ever been to in my entire life. I had such a fabulous time there and I would love to return immediately. And yeah, I'm hoping that this will give me a fun little moment under the Tuscan sun. So those are the books that I picked up. So I'm sorry, again. I did not follow my book purchasing plan, but here's a book haul for you. And I'm excited to dive into these because I have been experiencing a little book rut. So there we go. That's the book haul. And now because I was gone all day long, I need to sit on my computer for uh, a while. I need to get caught up. So I'll see you guys later. Good morning. It's bright. It's dark. It's just about to say it's bright and early. It's, uh, it's dark and early. We are off to take our new rackets for a test run. Go smack some balls. So we got back from tennis, had breakfast, had a coffee, and I've just done a quick makeup. I wanted to just get ready for the day because I have to do some filming and I kind of want to film. I'm always so like this about TikTok because I know for some people it just comes so naturally, but I feel like because I, I did YouTube videos for so long, like this structure is just what I know. It just feels so bizarre to just like quickly film and post a TikTok. I don't know why. I know that doesn't make sense because I literally post Instagram stories all the time, but it's just not, it's not a natural platform for me, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to film a TikTok. I'm literally still in my tennis skirt. Please don't judge me. I didn't actually vlog my trip when I went there, now that I think of it. But in early September, like first week of September, I went to New York and I went to a dinner with Everlane and they had like the power of 10. And they were talking about like 10 essential pieces, kind of like a capsule wardrobe idea. Um, and they did a whole presentation of it. We got to meet the CEO, all the creative directors, the designers at Everlane. It was so much fun. It was such a good night. And I got the package from Everlane, the power of 10 pieces. I literally, I opened it and I like took my address off, but I haven't unboxed it. I haven't looked at the pieces and I kind of wanted to do like a little unboxing for TikTok. So I'll see if it works out, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. And once I'm done, I'll decide how I feel about it. And if not, I'll just show you pieces. But anyway, that's my plan for right now. So wish me luck. Okay, I just finished filming the clips on my phone. I'm gonna go export it on the computer and see how it looks, but obviously finishing with the best pieces of all you guys.
like these colors together are so perfect. Okay, this is the little like boxy Oxford shirt from Everlane. The color is so perfect. I was literally geeking out. I'm so excited. It's such a perfect piece. And then this is the 80s blazer. You guys have definitely already seen this on my Instagram. I have it in the green, but they sent it in the ash brown color with the matching pants. It's just so good. I literally wear this with sneakers, wear it with heels, wear it with boots, whatever. Like it's such a perfect, perfect, oh my God, it's the perfect beige color. And I don't know if you guys have had this issue, but I definitely have the issue where I actually haven't found like a perfect beige blazer. I have like my linen-y ones, okay? My light summery linen ones. But when it comes to finding like a perfect beige blazer, they often pull either really green or really pink. I had yet to find the perfect beige neutral shade. And this is literally it, this is it. The oversized feel. I get this in a size eight. I think in general with Everlane, any of the pieces that I've had, they typically run small for me. As a size medium, size US six to eight gal, I usually opt for the larger size, especially in the top. So I definitely sized up. I got the eight in the blazer. And even though it's like an oversized fit, I still went for the size larger because um, I love to have that, that drape, that relaxed fit. So this suit is perfect. But look at the fit of this shirt. Is this not the most perfect, like stiff, thick cotton shirt that you've ever seen. Oh my God, I can't, I can't get over the quality. It's actually such a beautiful fabric. This is so stunning. <laughs> Everlane, I love you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go see if this footage worked and if not, <laughs> I'll show you the pieces. And if it did, I'll link to the TikTok. <laughs> Hello from the bath. <laughs> I did a little bit of a PR unboxing on Instagram this afternoon and unboxed so many delightful goodies. And so I decided to have a little pamper evening tonight and throw as many of them on my face and body as I possibly could. So starting with this little sheet mask moment, how luxe does this look? It's actually like thick and so, so nice feeling. I don't know if I've ever tried. It's a little two-part mask system from Shiseido. It's the Vital Perfection Radiance Face Mask. So there's a sheet mask and then there's a little chin strap moment that we get to put on after how, how exciting. Oh my God, you put it over your ears too. Wow, I can't wait. Oh, I'm supposed to do it at the same time. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, perfect. We can do this together. I thought it was literally like one and then two, not at the same time. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I look like I can post up out of my facelift surgery. Oh my. I want to wear this all day long. This feels so good. My head literally feels like it's being carried. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, well, so we're gonna bask in that. That is a delight. Shiseido, thank you so much. This is hilarious, but also amazing. It came in a box of six. I'm gonna do this every week until the new year. Do you think I will be a new woman? So, so I don't know if you can notice the little candle here, but we're also having a Dior bath. I didn't even know, I didn't, did I know? Did I know? I don't know if I've ever seen Dior bath goods with mine own eyes, but they sent over this lovely little self-care Miss Dior package. And we started with the rose bath bombs, eh? <laughs> then we did a little sprinkle of the Dior bath pearls, which was heavenly throughout the entire experience. And we are just basking in the scent of the little Miss Dior bougie candle. I feel like a very spoiled, very, very lucky gal to be having this lovely little pampering moment. <laughs> and I've also made a sleepy time tea to mark the occasion. Can I drink this with a chin strap? <laughs> ah, delicious. I have made it to bed. I have finished my tea. I've had my bath and I am oiled and oozed. And to be honest, um, I, was, I was going to join you filled with my fake tan and I was going to chat with you about my fake tan. But um, this is a little bit TMI, but I've literally been home from Cabo. It's been over two weeks. It's been over two weeks. I know that for sure. And um, this like entire last week, my legs have been peeling. I am literally shedding like a snake. Like I am just peeling 
away and I thought I like I've been putting off like I've been wanting to put on my fake tan because it always makes me feel so much better especially when now that it's like winter and it's getting freezing and I've been like and like every single day when I'm in the shower I have been scrubbing the living baloney out of my legs like trying to get rid of this like peeling weeks later sunburn <laughs> and I just keep shedding anyway I thought that tonight I thought that in my bath I would do my final scrub and I would be ready for my tan and I was literally putting my body lotion on and the backs of my legs are still anyway I'm still peeling Healing, okay and I just I can't put a tan on in this state I can't put a fake tan on and then like peel away that would just be too much for me to handle visually so um, alas tonight's not gonna be a tan night thank you for coming to my TED talk so now we're just oiled and greased and tomorrow's a hair wash day so you know anyway another fun fact I have been sleeping without a pillow and it's kind of been magical don't ask me why like I saw a few TikToks okay <laughs> but my back and my neck and everything has just been you know I just get sore and sleeping with no pillow has been very very much helping and I think it's obviously just because like something's wrong with my pillows but this has been a magical moment and this is how I've been sleeping <laughs> And with that little fun update, my friends, I'll leave you with a final note that I am going to start the distant shores tonight. And hopefully I'll have a book update for you soon. I love you all. Good night. Thank you for hanging out with me in this vlog. And I will see you all very, very, very soon for a new video. Bye!